Welcome back my beautiful subscribers. We're gonna be taking a look at a battery comparison that I did the other day. And I can definitely tell you between the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 12 Pro, there's a lot of differences, a lot of pros, a lot of cons, but I wanted to see the battery life. So this was a pretty basic test. There was nothing crazy I did. I had been using the 12 Pro for the last couple of weeks and it's been okay. But how this battery test works was basically I charged both phones up to 100%. They were updated to iOS 14 on both of them. Keep that in mind. I put them up to maximum brightness and I just let them see, you know, basically see how long it took to die on both of them. And what I found was pretty interesting. So within the first hour, so an hour and four minutes, I checked up on them and I saw that my iPhone 12 Pro was at 91% and my iPhone 8 Plus was at 81%. And I saw, okay, that was like kind of typical, but it was already a pretty big difference. I'm not going to lie. The iPhone 8 Plus does have a smaller battery technically in size, brand new than the iPhone 12 Pro, but this battery has degraded a little bit. So kind of keep that in mind. Then I checked back in on that two hour and 49 minute mark and I saw that my iPhone 12 Pro was at 61% and my iPhone 8 Plus was at 40%. So again, a little bit of a difference there too. I don't know, like I said before, if one was, you know, 100% the winner every single time in terms of battery, especially against the 12 Pro. I think it beat pretty much all my other iPhones and I was already expecting it to beat these two. Against my Androids though, my 12 Pro didn't do so well, but in this case, there was already a 21% difference, which was pretty interesting. Then I eventually checked in and I was watching all the phones and at that four hour and 11 minute mark, the iPhone 8 Plus eventually died and my iPhone 12 Pro still had 42% battery life left in it. And that was pretty insane. And what I basically found out was that you can basically never have two pretty best friends. <laughs> I'm totally joking. What I basically found out was that Pretty much the iPhone 12 Pro was better than the iPhone 8 Plus as expected. I knew it was going to perform better in terms of the battery life, but I, I knew that like the 12 Pro could have been better. Apple could have put a better battery or a bigger battery inside of it. And the second thing, iOS 14 on my iPhone 8 Plus hasn't been extremely well. It really hasn't been that great on any of my phones to be completely honest. So I'll definitely tell you when it comes down to it, the iPhone 8 Plus it's going to have probably worse battery life than the 12 Pro. I still think the iPhone 12 Pro is going to be superior here, but for the time being, I still think the A Plus is okay. And I think by the time the next couple updates of iPhone, I have iOS 14 comes out, you're probably going to be in a good situation too. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description below. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.